Hello, Tanshi, Anin, Nin Shkotekwe. My name is Firewoman and Andrea Menard, and I'm the founder of the Sacred Feminine Learning Lodge. And I would like to talk to you today about navigating the four fears that have emerged during this time of isolation. Um, there's been a lot of fear going around, I bet you notice, right? There's and it's hitting people in all sorts of ways. And I'm, I've sort of bro broken it down into four, four major fears that are touching people. And these are not small fears. These are, they're so big and so opposing at sometimes that they look like they're causing polarization um, amongst the people, amongst humanity. And it doesn't matter where you come from in, in within a family, out of a family, with what nation you're from. It is triggering four different fears in you. So the first one that I'd like to talk about that we're navigating is the fear of getting sick, a fear of your loved ones getting sick. So the actual um, losing of someone you love. So, and that could mean yourself, right? So there's a fear of getting sick. So there is how people are responding to that are the ones who are being very careful, who are, are wearing masks or decontaminating when they go in or wiping or washing their hands or having wipes wherever they go and they're they are responding in a res, in their way they're responding a res, responsibly to something that could dis devastate their loved ones or themselves or the public at large. So there's a great fear of that. And if I, if we think back of the deep seated, because I'm always looking at the big picture of, of what makes us tick and the grandmothers are always whispering in my ear about that, which is imagine how many lineages have been wiped out because of illness. So this isn't something that um, is just imagined. We have in our lineages massive, um, pandemics in our histories that are still being carried in our cells today. So that is one response of, you know, that is one fear that is being brought up in people. And, and the, they'll be the ones who are being super responsible because they do not want to lose people who themselves or people around them to get sick, their families. It's very important. The second fear that I'm discovering are those who are fear uh, frightened of being controlled. So um, the, the fear of being sick is not the priority at all. Their fear that is deep seated is the fact that their freedoms will be taken away by an out, by an authority that they uh, lose control. They lose their autonomy. And that's a deep seated one too. So if we think in our lineages that way, so the, um, imagine how many lineages have also suffered from being controlled by being uh, wiped out, by being murdered, by being legislated, by having all of these experiences where being controlled was the worst thing that could happen. And, and that's also trapped in our lineages. So these people are going to be um, expressing their fear by um, rejecting the rules and the regulations and the and the expectations because illness is not number one on their radar being controlled is so that's the second fear and then that's a little bit closer to home is more the fear of being stuck with people being with people so if you're someone that needs a lot of us freedom and alone time you will be frightened of having to share space or you know, being locked down with people. So again, your freedom is is being challenged, um, and those people might go be responding in that fear by being withdrawn, by working or finding themselves trying to work whatever they can do in their work, just hide away in their work or hide away in a project or do something that keeps them away from the people they're with. Um. And then there's also the ones who are frightened of being away from people, the ones who are in um, either lockdown by themselves or they are with a, a family unit but can't connect to the extended family. So they are frightened of being away from people. And these people are worrying a lot about those who are outside of their safe realm. And and so their, their fear is, is 
connecting, zooming, um, reaching out and being a part of a family unit, just connecting all the time. So we're navigating these four different fears and you'll see that they probably, you know, some of them go together, some of them don't. <laughs> the the fear of getting sick and the fear of con uh, being away from family, those ones might go together. And the fear of being controlled and the fear of being with people, those ones might go together too. So this is a time that requires a lot of compassion because fear is fear. If your fear is is huge in you, but it's opposite to the fear in someone else, imagine that their fear is as big as yours. It's just different. It, it's, it's completely different, but it's being triggered for the same reasons that we're all in this experience together, do having a new experience collectively. And as a friend of mine said, that we're in a collective trauma together and trauma triggers our lineage trauma. So this collective trauma triggers the personal, which triggers collective, which it just keeps going back because most of it has not been dealt with, not most of it has not been healed. So my invitation to you, being you know someone who's here to help facilitate the rise of the sacred feminine is, let's bring our compassion out. Let's rise up to a bigger perspective and see that people aren't doing things to harm you particularly. You are experiencing a fear that is coming up in you that needs to be dealt with. It is your gift. That is the gift of this time in, that, in the isolation to hand this fear to you on a platter because there's not many experiences on a global scale that can trigger this kind of stuff. It's big, it's brutal, and it's perfect. So I invite you to pick it up, sit in circle with these fears because they're here and navigating them will be your responsibility because it's worth it. I mean, if anything that we can do for each other, we can do for the collective and we can do for humanity is to handle and deal with our own stuff, heal our own lineages that go back and back and forward and forward, heal those lineages. And we're going to start to see real change on our, on our planet. So, have compassion for yourselves, have compassion for others, but know that fear is fear is fear. And it feels the same inside of you as it does for someone else. It just may show up differently. So I, I ask that you have a little patience, rise up that compassion and do your part. Because we're all in this together, right? I love you. Till next time. Bye-bye.